This is an annular solar eclipse, or as some people call it, the Ring of Fire. It happens when the Moon covers the Sun's centre, but leaves its outer edges visible. Although it doesn't feel this way for many of us in the Northern Hemisphere right now, we are actually getting closer to the Sun. What that means then is that the Sun is actually slightly larger in the sky than average, so the Moon is not able to cover it up completely, leaving an annulus of light around the Moon, hence an annular solar eclipse. Millions of people were able to see this eclipse, from astronomers in the UAE to school children and their teachers in Mumbai to these crowds in Singapore, where people won't get another chance to see the Ring of Fire until 2063. It's an annual eclipse and the next one is going to be when I'm in the, my 60s, so I might as well take my youth and look at this lovely Ring of Fire. It took around five hours for the path of the eclipse to move across the Indian and Pacific Oceans. For those watching on the ground, the celestial show was even shorter. You know, it's only two minutes, but it's so intense that you talk about it with your friends and family for the next months. While some places will have to wait decades for their next annular solar eclipse, others won't have to wait anywhere near that long. The good news is a very similar, uh, in fact even slightly better eclipse is going to occur on the 21st of June next year. The path of that eclipse will take in parts of Africa, the Middle East and southern China. Sean Hassett, BBC News.